Hey guys, so today's video is going to be sort of a makeup tutorial kind of, but it's gonna be a full face of just Milani makeup. So it's a very, very affordable look. I don't know what I wanna do yet. I just know I wanna use the new Milani Bold Obsessions and Must Love Matte palette. And there's also a few things I wanna discuss about these palettes, something I noticed. But yeah, we're just gonna be talking about Milani today. All the colors are here are very natural, everyday colors. Some plums, but mostly warm browns and golds and stuff like that. So obviously today's look is not gonna to be anything you probably have never seen before but I still wanted to do a full face using Milani because I feel like I haven't done a full face of something in a while and I don't think I've ever done a full face of Milani so that's very very exciting I love Milani it's one of my favorite 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 brands at the drugstore they have so many top dog products that compare to high-end makeup it's incredible so you know what, let's just get started. So I'm gonna start off with the eyes. And normally I would just use concealer as my eyeshadow primer, I do that all the time. So I was gonna use my Milani concealer as my primer because I don't have a Milani primer and I used to have one, but guess what? Can you take a guess? I lost it. <laughs> I don't know how I keep losing everything. So I am gonna be using something that's not Milani just for the eyeshadow primer. I've actually never used this before, but I don't know if you guys follow Nikki tutorials. I'm sure you do. Her tutorials are amazing. And she actually did a video that was like the best eyeshadow primer in the world. It was titled something like that. And she was talking about this P. Louise base. I don't know, I had never heard of this person before, this brand, but she sold me on it. I immediately purchased it when I heard her talking about it. So I'm just gonna tap that onto my eyes and I have never used this before. I don't know why I decided to do both of my eyes at the same time. I've never done that. That's weird. I'm gonna take my Must Loves Mattes palette and I'm gonna go into this bone color right here and I'm gonna use this to set down that eyeshadow primer. Okay, so to save some time, I'm gonna do the eye part in like voiceover mode. I just took the Most Loved Mattes palette and I used this brown shade called Toast of the Town. Oh, that's a cute name, Toast of the Town. And I'm applying that on the outer corners and in my crease as well. Then I used this shade to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm taking this reddish brown shade. It's called Hiking in Sedona. The names are on the back of this palette and I have like the palette in front of me. But I'm taking this shade and I'm doing the exact same thing I did with the first shade, just applying it on my outer corners and dragging it in my crease. And then I'm going into the Bold Obsessions palette and I'm gonna take that red shade called Red Between the Lines and I'm applying that on my entire lid. And then I took a brush with no additional product and I'm just using this to buff out the crease and to blend any harsh lines. And then I'm gonna take that shade right next to that red color, it's called Blazing Hot. And I'm gonna apply this on my entire lid. I did use the Milani setting spray to wet the eyeshadow, but then I just ended up applying the eyeshadow with my finger. I just found that it applied better that way. Then I took this brown color and I'm using this to blend out the crease. And I took this brown color very, very high in my crease. I kind of wanted this red look to be everywhere almost up to my brow bone, but I took that really light white color in the Bold Obsessions palette and then I took the shimmery color underneath it to really make my brow bone pop. And then I used that deep plum to deepen out the outer corners. For the inner corners, I took that shade Sands of Time. It's what I used underneath my brow bone, but I applied a lot of it on my inner corners and it's so amazing and intense. Like, it's amazing, I love it. So I cleaned up the eye area and then I took this Supreme Cocajal in black and I applied that to my tight line. And then I took this really, really old and expired Milani eyeliner because I didn't have anything else, but it was awful, it was already dried up. I was shaking the crap out of this. You, uh, you just don't see it because I edit those parts out, but it really was a struggle to get this to work for me. I mean, I got it to work, but it was really old and expired and it ended up irritating the crap out of my eyes later on that day. I added a, the black eyeshadow to it because I felt that it looked a little bit shiny and that did the trick. Okay, so really quickly, I'm gonna move on to my face before I finish up the eyes like usual. And for primer, I'm gonna take the Prime Protect SPF 30 Face Primer. I will say, when it comes to Milani, I think the category that has never wowed me is their primer category. Like, this primer is okay, I don't love it, I don't hate it. It has SPF 30, which is nice, but besides that, I think it's okay. For foundation, I'm gonna be taking the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I have the shade Creamy Vanilla. I don't remember if this is my correct shade. I haven't used this foundation in forever and I used to love it so much, but then I kind of stopped using it. But I remember loving the finish. 
So I'm gonna give it another go. So yeah, that seems like a good match. The only thing that sucks is the shade range, as usual, when it comes to drugstore. This is very yellow for my skin tone, and the crazy thing is that it's 01 Creamy Vanilla. I think this might be the lightest shade that they have. Eh, hello? Man, besides the color, I love how this looks on my skin. <laughs> that just made my skin look really smooth. Just gonna try to blend that down my neck a little bit. For concealer, I'm gonna use one that I've used for a really long time. I really like this. I use it on and off. This is the Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer, and I do find that it just like lifts your under eyes, and it's very, very hydrating. The only thing I hate is the applicator. It's like this little sponge, and it drives me bananas. Ugh. See? Like, ugh. I hate this but I do like how weightless this is. I wish I had more coverage, but I do really, really like it. And it blends so easily. It's like bing, bing, bing. Blend it. And then I'm gonna put some here just to even out everything and highlight the face a bit. I love this combo right now. My skin looks so nice in person. It is creasy though, so let's go ahead and set it. I'm gonna be using a variation of powders today. <laughs> For underneath my eyes, I'm gonna take my Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. This isn't my favorite for underneath the eyes. I actually prefer this to kind of set the entire face, but since I don't really have an under eye setting powder from, my, from Milani that I like, I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna lightly tap that in. I've never tried this before, but I wanna set my face with this. <laughs> this is the Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder. It comes with this little like thingy here. I'm not, I'm not gonna use that. I got the shade Nude. I feel like this would be better for oily skin. I feel like this is gonna be a full coverage powder. So I'm just gonna lightly set my face. And I'm just gonna do it in areas where I'm gonna apply bronzer and stuff. So just right here, right here, and on the sides of my forehead. Okay, that takes away the tackiness and okay, I guess I'm just gonna put it everywhere. Okay, so now we're gonna use another powder that's gonna take away this matte look. Milani released two different loose setting powders, one in the shade Radiant and one labeled Transparent. I don't like that one, I've mentioned it before, but it has a little bit of a sheen to it and it just looked weird on the skin. But this one labeled Radiant is literally like a loose highlighting powder. This is basically a loose highlighting powder, yes. It literally says on the bottom of this that it is a setting powder, but I don't, I don't, I don't see it that way. I'm just gonna take a little brush like this, dip it into the cap, and I'm gonna hit this on my cheeks right here, just all the places I would normally highlight, and look how pretty that is. This is so gorgeous. It gives your skin such a beautiful, luminous sheen. Ugh. I apply more product here, obviously, and then I just lightly dust my forehead. I'm gonna pick up some more and apply it here. Down the nose, a little bit on the chin. I just kind of feel like that gave life back to my skin. It was looking very matte, and I've honestly just been obsessed with this. I completely forgot to mention this in my monthly favorites video, but this is such a dupe for a Lancome powder. I know I've been saying I wanted to do a high-end dupes video, but I'm still doing some research on that. For bronzer, I did want to contour the skin a little bit just because I have a lot going on in the eyes, so I feel like I need to contour, but I don't have a contour powder from Milani, so I'm gonna use my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the original color. Color, and I'm just gonna contour the cheeks a little bit. I'm just gonna give some definition because the Milani bronzer I have is very bronzy and it doesn't really define the cheeks. It just warms up the skin. I'm also gonna apply some of this on my forehead because mama got a five head, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now I'm gonna bronze up the skin. I'm gonna use the baked bronzer, bronzer. I sound that it's super cute in there, in the shade Dolce. And I'm pretty much gonna put this all over my skin. It's a very light bronzer, it doesn't show up too harshly, so I feel like you can really throw this all over the face. 
for blush, I was gonna go in with my favorite Milani blush in the entire world. This is the Powder Blush in Warm Petals. You guys have seen me use that about a million times. But I'm gonna go in with the Baked Blush in the shade Berry Amore, which is a very warm, like, rosy nude. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the... I feel like it would complement the eyes really nicely. Uh, oh my gosh, I didn't do my under eyes. Ugh, I'll do that now. <laughs> I also haven't used this blush in a really long time. And now I'm like, why? Because he's gorgeous. Okay, so for highlight, I'm gonna take this Afterglow Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder. Apply a little bit of this on my cheekbones, on the top of my cheekbones, because I am gonna go in with something else on top in a second, but I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this. I really love this highlight, but I want something a little bit more golden. So I'm focusing this right here. And then I'm gonna take some on my nose. But I'm gonna take the Tantastic Face and Body Baked Bronzer. And this is a bronzer. I used to use this on my body all the time in the summer. But I'm gonna take my brush and focus it on the white part of this. You can see it has like gold and white veining. I'm just gonna dip my brush in the very, very white part. <laughs> because if not, it is too dark for me. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this right there. And now to set all that down, I'm gonna use one of my favorite setting sprays in the whole world, and it happens to be by Milani. The Make It Last setting spray. I'm running out of this. All right, so now I'm gonna finish up my lower lash line. All right, so I took this purple in the matte palette and I just buffed that on my lower lash line. I pretty much put this everywhere, but I wanted it to look, oh, and then I applied some black eyeliner. It's the same Coca Jaw I used earlier. Very creamy, I love that eyeliner. But I wanted a little bit more purpliness to my lower lash line. So I took the Plum Basics palette and I applied that shimmery purple. And then I didn't have a Milani uh, mascara, so I just went in with my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Okay, so for lips, obviously I'm gonna do something a little bit more natural. I'm gonna take this Color Statement Lip Liner in Spice, and it's a really pretty lip liner. And even though these are wooden, I really like these. They do last a really long time, and I don't find them to be too drying. So that does look very dark. I know it does. But we're gonna lighten it up with a liquid lipstick. This is the Amore Matte Lip Cream in Sweetie. And now we're gonna take it one step lighter with just a little bit of this. This is like a very strange product. I've only been testing this out for about a week now and I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I dislike it, but it's the Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. It's like a weird lip plumper. I don't know, but I am gonna use it today to lighten up this lip color. So yeah, that just lightened it up a little bit and it made it more glossy and yeah. That completes this look. I know it's not something you've never seen before. I've done similar looks on my channel, but I really love how the reddish cranberry looks with the really deep purple. I think it's really nice. And I think this look is so glam. My favorite thing is this foundation. I just feel like everything looks really nice on the skin. I feel like if I went to an event, everybody would think I was wearing high-end makeup. There's nothing on my skin that's like, ooh, this is drugstore quality. The eyeshadows are a little bit more difficult to blend. They are the kind of eyeshadows that do require a little bit more blending than usual. But once you blend it out, everything looks nice and smooth and just everything about these palettes are so luxe. And I honestly think these are one of the best at the drugstore, definitely one of the best. But I did wanna tell you guys, like, I don't know if these are replacing these palettes or if if they're just completely different palettes. But I did notice in the Bold Obsessions palette, these three shades, this black, this one I used on my entire lid, and this gold are in this palette. Like these three exact shades are in this palette. This is the Everyday Eyes Must Have Metallics palette. And I'm gonna put up some swatches in a second, but this gold is the same as this gold, this cranberry, and this black, like they are the same. So I don't think this must have metallics palette is worth it because even though this is cheaper for $9 more, you get double the amount of eyeshadows. This has six, this has 12. And I personally think this is better than this. Even though those three shades are like the exact same formula, they're both amazing, so buttery, so pigmented. Like this must have metallics palette is amazing. But then they came out with this and just killed the game. I don't know why they came out with a palette that had the exact 
exact same shades as this, but who knows? I just wanted to mention that just in case you have this palette or you have the must-have metallics and you know j Just in case I just wanted to mention that but yes anyway that completes this video guys I hope you enjoyed this full face using Milani makeup and don't forget to leave me more requests down below What do you want to see from me next request a request request? But yes that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye Been there all day Abiyana Little concealer polka dots. And it's... Really nice. Stop walking.